Hello, my name is Daisy. I'll be giving you match analysis for Cameroon versus Kenya. Let's get into this one. Alright, so this whole thing leads up to a penalty. As you can see, the penalty is given for handball, but I feel the decision is harsh. The defender had his hands behind his back. They were fully tucked in. And I don't think this should be a penalty because his hands were behind his back. I mean... I don't, I don't know why that was given as a penalty, my want. Because his hands were behind his back and it just hit him. Like, where was he supposed to put his hands? I, I would also get upset. Unfortunately, the penalty is still given and we'll take a look at the penalty that was scored. Yeah, but this penalty should not have been given in the first place. That's a good goal by the man himself, Vincent Abubaka. Yeah, I even felt nice saying that. Very, very good player, very good striker. Alright, let's head on to the second goal of the match. Should be somewhere here. Alright. Alright, so problem here. He is about to take a shot and there's no one close. The people close enough, but they don't want to mark. He was the best person to at least put pressure on this ball. Because, yes, he will leave his man open, but there should this guy should be capable of taking care of him. Yeah, so this is... I don't know how this builds up from, but just this is not... It is very concerning. They've given him way too much space, and it's in this particular area where a right-footed player... He's notorious for killing it into the top corner. But let's see what happens. I think that is a goalkeeping error. The keeper should have caught this. I think it takes a bit of a deflection. I'm not too sure. I made to see an angle, a good, a good angle, but I can tell if it's a deflection or just goalkeeping error. Unfortunately, I do feel the keeper should have done better. I do feel... The keeper should have done better, and that probably shouldn't have entered the back of the net. But let's head on to the next goal of the match. Alright, so set piece, as you can already see, they, they have a high line, which means they are going to concede a lot of space, and if a proper ball comes in with proper curl and proper, you know, angle and whatever... Yes, a player will run to that ball and they will head it in. So let's see the run of this player. So he's here. There is a Cameroon player near him. As the ball keeps going. Yeah. He, the Cameroon player was close enough. I don't know if it's Cameroon. I don't know if it's Cameroonian. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. But um he was close in that he was close, but not close enough to put in a challenge. And I could say it's a good headed goal. Maybe the keeper should have done better since it was at his near post, but that looks like a bullet header, so nothing much I could say there. Not much more I can say there. Let's head on to the next goal of the match. Should be in this region here. Alright, so this looks like it's coming from a counter-attack. Alright, so the cross comes in. He should have been closer to his man. And then that's a good finish. Because it was a, it was a very, it was a ball coming in at pace, and then he's able to trap it down. Yeah, that's a good goal. That's a good finish. By it should be Ryan Imbuemo. He should be, he should be in his twenties, but he looks thirty or something. I don't know, but he does look way older than he is for his age. Yeah. Otherwise, that's a really good goal. Let's head on to the fifth goal of the match, fifth and final goal of the match. Which should come somewhere around here. So the ball is played in, and then the keeper comes, and he doesn't claim the ball. He just stops. And then the Cameroonian player takes advantage of that. Because honestly, I don't know what happened here. Let me just play that back. Because if you're going to come out, you might as well go diving with your hands out. He just stopped in the middle. And once again, another goalkeeping error. I do feel you could have claimed that. Otherwise, 
good performance by Cameroon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next match analysis.